Michael Cole, I am age 42, I am self-employed. Well, I suppose I'm at Focus Gym now, coming up on two years, and I felt that the time was right for me to um, join up. I have been in and around gyms for the last four or five years, but I felt that I wasn't doing things correctly, I wasn't using the correct machines, I was very uneducated on exercises and more importantly I knew absolutely nothing about nutrition so I wanted to I wanted to learn about the, the whole nutrition aspect of it and I felt that Focus Gym um, and with Connor being here that it um, was most definitely the right gym for me. Well, firstly I knew nothing about nutrition. I couldn't have told you what was the difference in the carb and protein. So I was starting from ground zero. Um, but when Connor laid it out for me in terms of what to eat and what not to eat, um, what products to purchase and how to go about it, I, I quickly learned after a period of time as to how to do it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, so, you know, it was a process, you know, I could safely say, it took me about two to three months before I started to familiarize myself with, with products and knowing where to get it. Uh, we were doing the training for, 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 a, three, for a three month period and um, what, what I was being told at that time was that we were building muscle. So in between times, you know, I was adapting with the whole nutrition aspect of it. And, you know, after a period of time, I, I was physically seeing changes in my body, which was a, an added an incentive for me to press on with the nutrition. And you know, when 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 I was in the midst of the middle of it, you know, I was I was um, pretty obsessed in getting everything correct, uh, right down to to grams. Like I found myself at times actually taking one Cheerio off my breakfast bowl just to make sure I got those 200 grams. Um, but you know that only that only lasted for so long um, in terms of you know being being um, really specific. Um, but like in terms of now my day to day my day to day you know I've educated myself on on the whole nutrition aspect of it and it's just now become a part of life whereby I don't eat the things that I'm well I wouldn't say not meant to eat but I'm just accustomed to eating clean now all the time. But come the weekends. If, if I want to go out and, and, and have whatever I want, I do that. I would tend to work. I tend to work on a, a five and two, where, whereby uh, five days in the week I train hard and I eat clean. And at the weekend, I, I chill out with the training and, and kind of do what I want to a certain extent on, on the nutrition aspect of it. Uh, anybody that's training and, and wanting to get the, the, the physical results um, has to be prepared to get on board from the nutrition aspect of things because if they're if they're training two three times a week in the gym and they're and they're doing soccer training or ghillie training and and, then, and they're not taking on board you know what's needed to be done from the nutritional aspect well they're not going to get the results it's, it's plain and simple. Um, that was my approach to it in terms of, you know, yeah, I took my training to a different level, but I quickly learned that I needed to buy into the whole nutritional aspect of it. So, you know, I accept it may appear to be daunting for people, you know, to to understand how the nutritional aspect of, of it works, but I'm a perfect example. I knew nothing about nutrition, absolutely nothing. And, you know, it does take time, it's like anything. Everything takes time. In life and it's no different in, in, in that end so it, it's very doable in terms of ed educating yourself on, on nutrition. What did I try before? Um, upon reflection what I did try before was an absolute waste of time. Um, you know my whole training regime has changed um, before I started to buy into, to, you know, to the whole strength and conditioning aspect, I probably, probably would have run on a run machine for, for 30, 40 minutes and turned my nose down at, at the prospect of doing weights. 
I only know you can step back and, and look at whilst I was in the, the midst of my Gilly career um, and playing at a relatively high level. I wish I would have done then what I'm doing now because I, I, I'm, I'm pretty certain that I probably would have performed better because I would have been stronger. Um, because to play Gaelic, for example, you need power, you need strength. And, you know, as I say, I, I wish I would have, would have done that back in the day.